Tell you thank you. Oh. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to this weekly broadcast of Lifetime Impact, a program that is designed to catapult you to a higher height in life. This program comes coming your way by courtesy of Fleming Voice of O on FM 93.7, Destiny Radio by courtesy of Bishop Dr. Laga on FM 94.1, and Universal Radio by courtesy of this time is based on FM 98.9. I am your host, Bishop Dr. Frederick Abubakar Siddiqui Sulaiman Kuruma. And uh, maybe you are viewing us on Facebook or on YouTube. Please want you to be part of this program by either sending your question or your or your your comments. You know, we will entertain comments of our Facebook, WhatsApp and even phone calls will give you the number as we go along well god bless you to be um outstanding in life you need to stand out from amongst the crowd you know Zacchaeus was a very short man and he wanted jesus to see jesus so he found a sycamore tree and he climbed on top of the tree and at that height was able to see jesus but jesus picked him up you know why because he stood out from amongst the crowd. So I believe that in this year, you will stand out amongst the crowd. You will not follow the crowd. You will follow the cloud of glory so that God will take you to another angle. Today, I have as my special guest today, he will introduce himself. You know, for the past four weeks, I've been, I've been interviewed by Apostle Elder Boynton. So today, I'm taking my rightful position now as the MC of this program, so to speak. So this afternoon, we are going to have somebody that I've known for well over 35, 36 years or more. He's one of the people that that, 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 have, that have known me as Brother Abu, before I became Pastor Abu, then Bishop Abu. So you can imagine as far back as in the 80s, maybe 85, 85, 86, I've come to know this man, and he knows me very well. He knows me everything about me, as you can see. And I will ask him to introduce himself. Sir, tell us your name and your current occupation, and maybe a little bit about your family background. Thank you very much, uh, Bishop. Uh, first of all, I want to express my deepest gratitude to you for um, giving me this opportunity. Um, so I want to thank God for your life. Amen. Well, I am Pastor Matthew Edward Lansana. Um, uh, but when I was uh, in primary and secondary school, I was called Bobo Lansana. Oh, Bobo Lansana. Okay. Yes, uh, okay. That was the name given to me. And uh, um, but later on, um, I decided to use Matthew Edward Lansana after I left school. Okay. Um, so you are called Bobo. Is it I was Bobo in primary school and secondary school, even my study grades Bobo. Okay, so you're not a bobo. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> then, uh, um, uh, um, of course, the, I got the name Matthew because when I was in the Catholic Church, you know, when water was poured up my up on my head, okay, which they considered to be a uh, uh, baptism. Okay, you know, I was called my my father gave me the name Matthew. Okay, and uh, and then when I was confirmed, I was uh, Ed, uh, Edward, but then I was still happy. That was in 1970. 
but I was still having the name um, Bobo Lansana. And the reason why I had to change it was because um, there was a, 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 a friend to my parents. He's, he was called Pabok. He's late now. He said to me, you have to change his name because if you don't change it, um, if you get old, they will call you Papa Bobo. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought about it. And so after I left school, I, I decided to use the name Matthew Edward. So I'm Pastor Matthew Edward Lansana, and uh, I'm the senior pastor of Joy Assembly of God Church. Okay. Um, uh, my parents uh, were um, Joseph Michael Lansana. Um, he was a Catholic. And my mother was uh, Miata Lansana. Miata Safura Lansana. Okay. And uh, my father was a Catholic. My mother was a Muslim. Ooh. And uh, there were seven of us. The first child died. And uh, there were six of us that remained. And so um, I am the fourth of the six, mm -hmm. and I'm the eldest male child. Wow. There are only two of us, so I was loved by my father because I was the first male child. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was born at Fort Street, and I grew up at Fort Street. All of my all of my uh, my years in primary and secondary school, I was at Fort Street. We lived there. It, the house was not owned by 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 a family, okay. but people thought we owned it because we had stayed there for a very 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 long time. Wow. Yeah. So um, that's just a brief background. Um, concerning That's interesting. So you you were born there, or you grew up there? I born. I was born there. when my parents were there. I was born there, and I grew up there. And then you walked there with Magube. Yes, that's, in, that's interesting. Yes. So you have you have the 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 the, 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 the blood so to speak of seed running through you. Yeah. That's that's an interesting mm -hmm. interesting one. Mm -hmm. So um, can you tell us a little bit about your primary school and secondary school education? Um, uh, I attended the Saint Edward's Primary School. At that time, the school was at House Street. House Street, okay. We are the one who moved over to um, Fort Street okay. in 1970. And at that time, I was in class six. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, what is, we started at um, House Street, where we have Spiritus House now. Yeah, that's right. We are nice. very close to Sacred Art Cathedral. Okay. Yeah, no, Sec uh, Sec Sacred Art Cathedral. Okay. Yes, yeah, the, the Catholic Church there. And so, um, at, in class six, because I was doing well, I was. Uh, I was asked to take the common entrance exam, which we now call MPSC. Okay, but by then it was, you had to go to class seven. Yes, so I had to join with class seven people, and okay. then I sat to the common entrance exam, and I passed the exam. Wow. And then I was uh, uh, passed for St. Edward's Secondary School. So, so, okay. Yes, so uh, I attended St. Edward's Secondary School up to Form 5, where I sat to the GCE level examination so in other words you are, you are well should i say you are a little bit smart because for you to be taken from class six to take this common entrance examination selective entrance but that was the case in those in those days okay yes, right, it okay. used to happen mm -hmm. but that was uh, mm -hmm. that was the case but only few people had that opportunity yeah definitely. and i was i was blessed to be one of those people yeah i see i see i see you must have distinguished yourself to be labeled as one of the um, enviable students of class six who should take an exam that was meant for class seven mm -hmm. pupils. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Matthew. So, um, what was your dad doing? What was the, the occupation of your dad, your mom? What were they doing? Well, you know, my dad and my mom came from the provinces, and uh, um, um, they came here when they were very young, you know, because all of us were born in Freetown. Okay. Um, and so, my dad came to Freetown after he completed school. He com he went to Roman Catholic School, the Aussie School, in okay. the, the village in those days. Okay. And then he came to Freetown, and then he worked at the British Council. Okay. Um, uh, and then after that, he worked at uh, um, the railway, Sierra Leone railway. Oh, wow. And he was uh, a clerk typist. Typist? Yes. OK. Yes. <laughs> so if you should come to the and show him computer, he will disappear. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, yes, um, and, but he, 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 he retired in the 70s. When okay. the railway was closed, okay, and so he worked, um, but then he was uh, asked to work at Saint Edward Secondary School. So those who attended Saint Edward Secondary School in the se late seventies and eighties, they will know Palasana. Oh, he was in the office working with the with the principal. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, uh, but he he passed away in nineteen ninety seven. Okay, you died passed away in nineteen ninety seven. Yes. Oh. And my mom, of course, my mom passed away in nineteen uh, nineteen ninety. 
But the interesting thing, thing is that uh, my mother knew the Lord before she passed away, even though she was a Muslim. Okay. At that time, I was at Bethel Temple, and uh, I dreamt three times that, that she died. Okay. And so I had this urge to go to Tongo Fee because she was staying with my uncle. And uh, I went there on that Wednesday in December 1990. And remember the, the very day I, 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 I went to Tongo Fee, um, uh, that night, I ministered to her salvation. Wow. And my mother gave her heart to the Lord. I remember she asked me a question. You don't forgive me? And I said, yes, God has forgiven me. Wow. And then she turned her face towards the wall. Wow, but, then, but, then, but then she was after me to come to Freetown to get my elder sister to go over okay. to Tongo Field. And so I, I, I didn't want to I didn't want to come. And I didn't know some of the truths I know now. And because what happened was that as she 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 was having this uh, uh, native medicine okay. and that damaged her liver. Okay. Yes. Right. And so um I traveled on Saturday and then and we had a meeting Monday evening. And immediately we finished the meeting and somebody came. In those days, there was no phone. You know, there was no uh, mobile. Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so usually if they want to uh, communicate with uh, somebody from the provinces, they will give a letter to the driver, one of the, yes. the drivers. And so immediately we finished the meeting, I saw this man coming with a letter. And I opened that letter. And in that letter, it was written that my mother passed away wow. the previous day, and he was taking, she was taken to the village to be buried. And the peace of God. Oh, yes. Mother, because indeed. I ministered to her. Praise God. And also my father also. I ministered to him also. Yes, he was at Fort Street, and I, I spoke to him. I ministered to him. My father was a very healthy man. Um, I never, we never thought of uh, him going to the, to the hospital. If he gets sick, maybe malaria, after a few days, he will bounce up. But one thing I observe about my father, he used to drink hot water in the morning. Mm. Every morning. I didn't know until now, I, uh, now that I've understood the importance of hot water. It it hot water. Yes, yes. Yes. Hot water. yes, but he gave his heart to the Lord. Um, how, how old was he? When he um, in his 70s. Oh, he passed away in the 70s. 70s. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. That's, that's interesting. So apart from your dad being a... Uh, 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 a clerk and a work at uh, St. Edward's, what do you do to augment extra income? Mm -hmm. Well, um, uh, this is something I've not, <laughs> I don't usually um, um, tell people, but my, my father was working at uh, the railway and uh, my mother was selling alcohol, okay. you know, what we call omole. Okay. Yes, and you know, people used to come to the house, okay. you know, and I also used to sell. Yeah, you know, um, and so my and mother. You, tell you, you, you drank some. Actually. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I, 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 I was also guilty of that yes. in my young age yes. from my school. Yes. yes. So, so my mother was. So that was how. That was what my mother did to augment. You know. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. But, so you selling by by pine by torch. By pine by torch. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you understand? Me? I understand now. I, I came from that background, <laughs> so I could understand. I can I can make myself rich. I know what it is. And uh, my mother. I used to have a cash box where oh. we put the coins. Okay. And uh, I was a very quiet person. You are not troublesome? No, no, I was not troublesome. I was not a troublesome. Oh, well, well, you are but, for me. But I used to steal from my mother. I would go to the cash box, I would lift up the cash box, I would put a knife in you know, the mouth, yes, and then the, the coins would come down whenever I want to go to, to watch film at uh, Strand or Odeon. So I used to steal from my mother. Oh, but, but, wow. Wow, that's interesting, Pastor Matthew. Well, well, thank God that you are not um, some of these bad boys. As we, we grew up mm. in, Congo, in Congo town, it was very rough, mm. very rough in those days. I, I was like a champion, leading people, leading these young boys, raising up young boys to go and steal mm. from the shops. You thank, know, it thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. So otherwise, maybe I would have become an arm robber by now. It was God that snatched me. Quite on time. Look at look at my compatriots, my 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 comrades. Many of them now. Yeah. When you look at them, you, you there's no story right about yeah. them. Yeah. Definitely. You know, we thank God for grace. Thank okay. God. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have here Pastor Matthew Lassana, the senior pastor of Joy Assemblies of God, who is today my special guest on this um, lifetime impact. I know you are ready with your question or your comments, whatever it is. Please keep them coming via Facebook. Very soon, we'll show you the WhatsApp number to text to or the phone line that you can call 
and become part of this wonderful program. So, um, Pastor Matthew, um, um, after you finish school, what next? Um, after I finished school, I could not continue my education after Form 5 because my father uh, retired from the railway. Okay. And so, he um, didn't have the means to, for me to continue. Okay. So, I, I began to seek for a job. And I wrote many ap applications. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, I always received a reply that uh, um, my application was received, but that there was no vacancy. Oh, I mean, and so for four years, I was out of job. And then um, God helped me to have a teaching job at uh, Tabernacle School. But I was, not, I was not a qualified teacher. So I, I, I taught at class four and class five. Uh -huh. But then uh, after about two years, three years, um, they decided to um, uh, to relieve uh, those who were not qualified. You are you're, you're, you're untrained and you're unqualified. Uh, untrained you, you... and unqualified. Oh my God! Yes. So uh, that was how I left uh, uh, the teaching uh, profession. The, the profession. And then um, uh, after some time, I was praying. I'd given my heart to the Lord in 1981. You know, and then um, uh, um, and then in, in, in before I got the, before I got the, the job at income tax because the next place of employment was at income tax. Okay. It was in 1985. But I remember I'd already given my heart to the Lord and it was in 1983, I was sitting in my, in my, in my one room um, apartment and uh, when I was reading the Bible and I heard the voice say, you will have to go into full-time ministry. But then I was looking for a job and then I got the job and um, I was there for, uh, uh, I got the job in 1985. At income tax? At income tax. Okay. As a tax officer in training. Okay. But then um, uh, after some time, I was disillusioned. I didn't have peace, I didn't have joy. And sometimes I would say to myself, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. And, uh, but my, 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 my exciting moment, my glorious moment, uh, was when I was doing open air with others, people like Pentimiti, you know, Abraham George in those days, you know, go, go house to house, those are my uh, glorious moments. So, but God has spoken to me that I should go into full-time ministry, but then I got this job, and then uh, I made up my mind that I was going to, to resign. But I worked at the income tax, and interestingly, I'm Matthew, and I work at the, as a taxman, and I was called from the tax office, like Matthew of the Bible. <laughs> what a divine coincidence. Matthew, the tax collector, working in the tax office. <laughs> That's interesting. So the name you got was like a prophetic name yeah. over your life. Yeah. All right? That's Wonderful. interesting. Wonderful. So you taught at um, the primary school, just, just like me. I, that's the same thing I did. Mm -hmm. I taught in about three of the primary school. Mm -hmm. Because after school, I mean, you don't have ways to enhance your education. So you, you, you find ways and means to earn extra income mm -hmm. to earn yourself. So that's where you found yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, um, you got the call of God, you answer to the call. Well, maybe there are people that are listening to us now. What do you say to, to, to some people who think um, life is not hitting them fairly? They've tried all the cold, but there, there is, seems to be no progress in life. What message do you have to give to those people to encourage them? Well, you see, um, of course, life is full of challenges. Mm -hmm. But the, the interesting thing is that if you have come to personal faith with the Lord, you have a relationship with God, you know, everybody who comes into this world is not an accident. It's not an accident, it's not a biological mistake, it's not an afterthought of God. Mm -hmm. In other words, God didn't create us and then afterwards began to think about what we should do in this life. Mm -hmm. But like he said to Jeremiah, before you are forming your mother's womb, I knew you. Mm -hmm. I ordained thee to be a prophet. So there's an assignment on every one of us. So even, even, even if things are not going right for you, I think you need to trust God. You need to commit your life to God and trust in that God uh, will make a way. And, um, and, the, and the most important thing is for you to discover why God has brought you into this wow. world. Wow. It's very, 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 very important because uh, when you discover why God has brought you into this world and you pursue it, you have fulfillment in life. And also, when you pursue the f God's purpose for your life, I believe it will bring money also. Mm. When you discover the purpose of God. For example, like give an example like Jesus. Jesus fulfilled the purpose of God. And there were certain women who gave from their substances in Luke chapter 8. And if you, if you, if you discover your purpose in life, I think that's the way God wants us to, to be blessed in this life. Wow. When you discover your purpose in this life, mm -hmm. it will be a blessing. The man who invented the electricity, Thomas Watson, mm -hmm. I believe uh, 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 
God brought him into this world for that purpose. So it is very important that we discover the purpose of God. And I believe by inventing electricity, that would have brought money to him. Definitely. So, so our purpose, uh, we need to discover our purpose. So we should not be disillusioned. We should not be uh, uh, fretful about life. Uh, we should not give up. But we should keep pressing on and we keep believing and trusting God and that God will lead us and guide us. Wow, that's interesting. So young men and young women, this message is exclusively for you. Don't give up because winners never quit and quitters never win. Whatever you are doing, if you think things are not working out for you at the moment, hold on tenaciously to it. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says the vision will speak for you at the end. Mm -hmm. So Pastor Matthew is here encouraging you. Don't give up. So Pastor Matthew, um, in other words, who, 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 who will, will you term as a failure in life? Who is a failure? To your own opinion, who is a failure? First of all, God never created any of us to be a failure. God never. It was okay. never the plan of God. It was because of the fall of man. Okay. And uh, um, uh, failure is a mentality. Because people who have succeeded in life, they, they failed several times. For example, the man who invented the electricity. He, he tried 1,000 times. Thomas Edison, yeah. Thomas Edison. Okay. And the man who was working with him said to him, you've tried, why can't you give up? And you know what he said? He said, I have discovered 1,000 times how not to do it. Wow. And he never gave up. And because he persisted, so he, he, he invented electricity. So, so, so nobody is a failure. It, it, it's when you accept that you're a failure that you're a failure. Because people have succeeded in life, they tried, they failed sometimes in life, but they never give up. So um, you should not see yourself as a failure. You should never see yourself as a failure. Nobody was born to fail in this life. There are some people who say God created some people to, to, to be successful, some people to fail. It's not in the Bible. All of us were created to succeed in life. Mm -hmm. But we need to discover um, uh, 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 what God has for us in this life. And that we should never accept failure. You are only a failure because you've accepted it. Wow. It's a mentality. Mm -hmm. So even if you fail several times, uh, you can still rise up. You can still rise up. It doesn't matter how many times you have failed. So the fact that you have failed does not mean you are a failure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. people who have succeeded failed so in, 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 along the way. But they never give up. Mm. They never give up. Wow. They never give up. That's I mean, crazy. it's true of all of us. That's right. It's true of all of us. So nobody, you should not see yourself as a failure. Sometimes it may take some time. But just believe that God has a purpose for your life. Just believe. In fact, one thing I believe is that the, 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 for example, you may have messed up in the past, but I don't think we should be killing ourselves, I mean, dwelling on our past. Okay. We should be thinking about what is ahead, mm. because we should believe that uh, our, our future is more brighter than our past. Like, the, mm. like, like Job says, uh, uh, though my beginning was more like my latter end shall greatly increase. So we should not be, 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 be dwelling on what we are not able to do in the past, but we should Think about where we are now and what we can do from now on to the rest of our life. Wow. So we should believe, me, I believe that the rest of my life will be the best. Hmm. So, so don't accept failure in your life. Even if you have failed, keep trying. The Bible says the righteous man falls seven times, he will rise up again. Oh, I like that, yes. The righteous man falls seven times. And, and if you fall, Bishop, if I want to demonstrate, if you fall, when you get up, your right foot will go to the front. Let me give you an example. Okay. Let me give you an example. Okay. If I fall, that's just my shoe. But then if I get up, my foot comes up. Oh, okay. So, so you don't give up. Wow. You have fallen several times. Wow. That's interesting. That's an interesting illustration. Mm -hmm. I've got a graphic picture of what you are trying to pass on to us mm -hmm. now. So, in other words, the Bible says the part of the righteous is as a shining light that, that shines shine more, more and, and more. more to a more perfect day mm -hmm. that is interesting wow so the fishermen that failed in Luke chapter 5 were not failures mm -hmm. because they were still hanging on until mm -hmm. jesus showed up definitely so hang on to your vision mm -hmm. hang on to your dreams and don't give up remember remember abraham lincoln one of the greatest leaders of america had a catalog of failure in his life. Mm -hmm. Seven major catalogs of failures. But guess what happened? The man rose up to be one of the greatest leaders mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. So please, please, whatever you are doing, if they sell Oreo, Pamayo, please not give up. And also, they sell water, 
No matter me, they say we take Bill E. Oaks. Don't give up because winners never quit and quitters don't win. Michel, let me give you an example. You know, we have a particular tribe. We used to sell diamond or a tree. Or the wood, wood, the split wood. What the split wood. Wood also have to have. And so, and now they are. We're taking over some of the strongest economy. Yeah, that's right. So, though your beginning was small. Yes. Your latter end. Shall I agree with And don't despise the days of small beginning. Mm. Everything that, that gets big starts small. Yeah, you, you, uh, uh, some years ago, you, you, were, you were a kid. You were in your mother's womb as a boy. Definitely. Then you came out as a small boy, then uh, uh, you began to crawl, mm -hmm. and then you walk, you learn to walk. Mm -hmm. Now you've grown up to be a big man. Mm -hmm. So, definitely. So, that's how life is. Mm -hmm. There's a transition mm -hmm. period in life. Yeah. So, don't give up. Maybe you are, you are just in your, in going through your wilderness experience. Mm -hmm. From Egypt, you are now in the wilderness. Don't give up because the land of Kenya. It's awaiting for those mm. who will hold on to the vision. Wonderful. 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 But what, can you tell us a little bit about your salvation experience? We want wow. to know how, how you had an encounter with God. Like I said, because I attended the Catholic primary and secondary school, and also because my father was a Catholic, um, uh, I, I was a Catholic. I grew up, grew up as a Catholic, my primary school and secondary school days. And uh, the person who took me to school, I can still remember, is the mother of uh, the late Mr. Hindolo Tai. Yes, we used, okay. to, we used to call her Auntie Fernanda. Okay. She held my hand and took me to school, Okay, you know, at house seat. So I was a Catholic. And then later on, um, I came across Reverend Gobe, you know, and uh, because because we were staying at Fort City, came over to Fort City in 1970. And so, but it was a church of salvation. 1970, he came to Fort City? Yeah, he came to Fort City in 1970, from Back Street. From, I mean, where it was, he signed in that was the house why he was... 42 for city yes oh my goodness and then why? later on he came down to uh where you used to have city of west okay, okay yes okay. but at 42 for city okay. Okay. Uh, so i came across him and yes, he yes, took yes. me to to church of salvation and so i used to go to the early mass at church of salvation no 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 at the catholic church seven o'clock in the morning and then half past nine that if the early mass is for about an hour okay you know go very early in the morning and then i will go to church of salvation 9 30 but then you know it was a place oh, i don't want to go into details but uh um uh, it was an adjunct of the church if i put it so did you do animal sacrifice well um they did animal sacrifice there oh, yeah, but yeah. there was never a prophecy given to me for me to to offer an, uh, an animal because they used to if it, it, sometimes a prophetic word that will come oh, from the prophet prophecy. and then you see for seeing so uh, exchange of life exchange yeah. of, so you have to bring the sheep into the church i saw that and you lay your hand upon upon it. Yeah, so, ignorance. Yeah. Yes. So we are there, and then Pagobe was searching for the truth because he used to attend uh, Bible believing churches, mm -hmm. you know. And then he discovered the truth that only in Christ Jesus you have salvation. So he left, and then went to Bethel Temple, and then uh, I followed him, and then uh, it was at Bethel Temple that I gave my heart to the Lord. But I'm the kind of person who does not just take decision like that. Okay. Yeah. I, I have this analytical mind. Mm -hmm. I have to think about the pros and cons, and then once I make a decision, there is no turning back. So that's why I'm very careful. Even in friendship, when I make uh, a friend with somebody, I, 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 I will give myself to that person. So, so um, it was. Um, um, uh, uh, um, so, I used to go to better temple there. I give my heart to the Lord. Okay. And then I, I was born again. But I was still going to the Catholic Church, early mass. And then later on, I'll come to 10 o'clock service at Better Temple. And then I made up my mind that I will continue with Better Temple. So that's how I give my heart to the Lord um, uh, in Better Temple. Wow, that was, that was that, that's a dramatic encounter. So God, you went to the, the spiritualist church. Mm -hmm. Then, so Bagobe played a very major role in your life. Definitely. Because he happened to be my spiritual father. Definitely. Your spiritual father. Definitely. So I one common spiritual father, yes. He's, he, he impacted my life. And Pagobe was a man of faith. Pagobe was a man who didn't take drugs. What did he do? Medicine. 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 Uh -huh. he, he, he was a man of faith. And it worked for him all. Pagobe, in fact, one time I was seriously sick, 1989. And uh, whilst I was sick, I had Jami, you know, the one of the daughters. Mm -hmm discussing with them that he, she dreamt that I died and I was buried, whilst I was sick. And I had, and I had her saying that to, the, to, to her parents. 
And uh, that was the moment I began to get well. <laughs> so you know to die. <laughs> well, I sweet. <laughs> so, uh, so I was reminded of the scripture where the, 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 the psalmist says, I'm, uh, they plan to kill my life, but I shall not die. I shall live. So from that day, I began to get well. I stood, up, I stood up on the word of God. So I, I, so Pagobe played a key role in my life. And also, um, uh, um, even though I was at Better Temple, um, uh, but, but all of the two of us were at Better Temple, but then he was later transferred to the church that was a uh, meeting where Joy Assembly of God is now. Okay. It used to be called uh, Gizi Church. That's the church that yeah. moved to, uh, that is now Victory Assembly of God okay. at Kisi. And so he was there as assistant pastor under Reverend, uh, the, the female the woman, Reverend Mami Bawo. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. He was the assistant pastor to Mama Bawo. Okay. But then, while he was there, God spoke to him to start a church. I remember that day I was sick, I was in his house. I was so sick that it was my good bear who was uh, uh, taking care of me. I was so sick, but God, 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 God healed me. So he was, so, 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 uh, uh, it was, uh, 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 his, his life was an, his life impacted me. He influenced me so much. And uh, later on, even though I was at Better Temple, at one time, he, he was to travel to England. And so he spoke to me that he wanted me to go and pastor the church for about a month. Wow. So he asked permission from Better Temple. And so they allowed me. I came and then I went back. And later on he said he, he felt that God wanted me to come back, mm -hmm. to uh, God, want to come and be his, his assistant, even though there were other ministers. And some people did not like that because I was coming from another uh, church. But then I had to write. I discussed with uh, the leadership, the ministerial council, and I wrote, they said, let me pray about it. They gave me a month, and I prayed about, about it. And then um, on the third Sunday in, uh, in, in January 1996, I was released. They prayed for me and released me. Wow. And so I think that is very, very, very important because some people, they just leave the church like that without the blessing of the church. That's right. Sure, they don't leave the church, but I, uh, that was what I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, because I did that, mm -hmm. from time to time, I was called to minister at Better Temple. So there is what we call healthy separation or healthy separation. Of course, uh, Pagobe would not have allowed me to take that kind of decision because mm. knowing the kind of person he was. So, um, 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 so his, his life was an impact upon my life. His life impacted me so much, and uh, and he, he believed in me. Pagobe was a very strict person, but he's a disciplinarian. But we worked, you know, we had a very cordial relationship, you know. And then later on, I became uh, the assistant pastor, and I served him for twenty years. 20 years and there are people that are ministered to they were overseers for 20 years and uh, there was the temptation for me to go and start a ministry but i believe god wanted me to to serve him and i did there was a point in time bishop that everything was left in my care including the finance but god will not ask he trusted me and uh, even for the building of that church we spent about a 1.8 billion i signed every money Pagobe did not you know, he was, that was not, he left everything in my care. So that's a kind of relationship. So I want to thank God for his life. When, when he passed away, I was not in, I was not in towers in England and something happened. We will talk about that. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, you, 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 you took my memory back to sometime in 1986 mm. when I was searching out for, um, I had the audible voice just like you. So I went to different Christian organizations to seek for, you know, enlightenment. That was what led me to Pagobe. Mm. In 1986, I was still at Fubei College. Mm. I remember when he said to me, I said, sir, I was asleep. Then I had his voice saying to me, because somebody woke me up and said, I'm going to give a ministry. I said, I didn't know what that means. He said, I'm going to we are, they were telling me, okay, wait upon God, pray. He said, hey, you know what I want to tell you? Go down your ministry, go start one thing. That's my and that, 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 That's it. <laughs> and he laid that on me. Mm. But since that moment, since that day, became inseparable he became my my spiritual father mm -hmm. oh I, I love that man i love that man and, and remember before that thing happened you after you finish college yes. you apply for a job as a ted was and you are called for interview you showed us the letter and up to now you have not attended the interview okay <laughs> so uh, I, I, I wish you had not been in the interview today so we are talking about an incident after i finished from college mm -hmm. i applied by then you know things were difficult mm -hmm. So I applied for a job and they asked me to go for an interview. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit said to me, by the way, we came from um why all the I be Kubi for a prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. God said to me, You should not go. I said, ah, God is in at all. Mm -hmm. 
I went to Mitchell's High School too for an interview. I was to see the principal now because they were looking out for somebody who will teach. He still blah blah blah. Mm. But said to me, get up and get out. Mm. That was the last time I applied. Mm. So I said, Pastor Matthew knew very much about me because before we take a phone line, I could remember when I was I was a senior. Um, how do you call it? Palampo, oh. senior bachelor, and I wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. By then, I had no money. Mm -hmm. So Pastor Matthew was also a bachelor. Where, where, where were you living by then? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So I was about to do fasting and prayer. I think four days without food. Mm. Couldn't imagine. I spent time praying at the house. I asked God, I need divine intervention. I need a ring. I need this. I need that. So then these young people don't pray. They don't fast. They send letters. Send letters to people. I want to get married. I have a vision. I have a this. I have a that. The other one listed, he listed everything he wants. That is, that is ridiculous. Mm. I want you to pray and fast. After I finish praying and fast, what do you give to me? What are you doing? Because you're not going to pray, okay, nothing, forgive me. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, manager, any, 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 any text coming in? Yes. Come on, let's, let's hear it. We have um, Jeffrey Thomas saying, God bless you, Reverend Matthew Lansana, a uh, blessing to our generation. Um, we have uh, Patrick Ware saying, Reverend Matthew Lansana is an amazing servant of God who has maintained a passionate commitment to preaching the undiluted, uncompromising, and unadulterated word of God. Mm -hmm. We are blessed to have him as our senior pastor in Joy Assembly of God Church. Mm -hmm. His impact will ensure for all eternity. Wow. Maria Bawa saying, Pagobe of blessed memories, may his Perfect soul, rest in perfect peace. Hmm. We have um, Justina Unaisi Oliver saying, Wow, thanks for sharing. Oh, I love it and I'm so much happy. Cynthia, we are saying success can be born from failure. Hmm. Sylvia Khalil Koma, indeed, discovering your purpose in life is the starting of fulfilling your destiny and it's a lambo is saying wow more grace sir and um, we have kodomasa is i'm watching from maryland usa mm. wow. just in a united States, oliver saying prayer and fasting bring everything god everything god knows we need that's all we have for now Message just okay, come. so please um, tell us where you are viewing us from. Uh, this is from, from Maryland. We have viewers from the Middle East, from Australia. Please just indicate to us where you are viewing us from Kenema. Um, you have New London in Kenema, so, I mean, in Bo. So let us know where you are. Or uh, you are listening to us on um, this different radio frequency. We'd like to entertain your opinion, your thoughts, and your contribution. Um, Pastor Matthew, um, we grew up, we've known each other when we are bachelor. Mm. Definitely, we are bachelor. I remember one, one, one of these uh, ministers saying to me, Bo, now we know some you, where you may get your story. Now we did it, now people they come because they don't see the glory. Say me and Pastor Matthew, and he, called, he mentioned your name, and I said, yes, too. Mm. See, Pastor Matthew knew a lot about me than many other ministers today. Mm. Good. and. Uh, I, I know your wife has a very quiet disposition. What can you say about your wife? Well, yeah, you you, you said it right. My wife has a quiet disposition. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to thank God for her life. Mm -hmm. You know, um, she doesn't talk much. Yes. But one thing that is very clear, she is an intercessor. Wow. She will wake up in the night. Sometimes I will say to her, hold the doors. She will spend time in the night and she will pray. Um, she is not... A preacher as such yeah, I know she can exhort, but she's a praying woman mm -hmm. and uh one thing also um she's not afraid um uh, if she observes anything she's not afraid to bring out to me for example maybe i overreact in a particular situation he has a way of telling me wow you know so sometimes you know we women we, we don't like it but uh, i want to thank her for her life she's really a blessing and to my life wow that's a compliment for you sister alice she was this sister george yes she got married now that's that's uh, uh, in paris uh young 
This is our George. This is our George. Parliament. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I remember when I, when I went to visit you, she prepared for me a nice, nice meal, and I enjoyed it. I, I hope I'll come one day again at least so that I can get that sumptuous meal. Good. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, it's good to have a woman of God that you can speak highly of, you can you can talk about, you can recommend, thank God for your life. And you've to my wife too. She has a very quiet solution too. Yeah. 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 And we, 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 we love our wives. Let me say something, Bishop. When you showed interest in uh, the depart, okay. she was at the, at the church here, and the, the woman there was giving you a tough time. Oh. So you used to come and we, I was, we used to pray. <laughs> you mean a, a pastor? <laughs> yeah, a pastor. Was giving, yeah, yeah. was giving you a very tough time. I know. And so you have, to, you came at times with some prayer requests. Yes. So we had to wrap up a shatter up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we got to pray too. So it was not easy. And the, the thing it says here about you, you are a praying person. Okay. You know, and uh, and uh, so we want to thank God, the way God gave you, gave you the breakthrough. So you didn't give up. I didn't give up hope. But so you have to climb that hill. You know, we are pretty in offices. I know. If you climb that hill, go right over the top. For me, I see me, Pastor. People right. see me no more. For those who address me and talk all the kind of things, for discourage me. But I don't agree. And I come. I don't give up. That's wonderful. That's great. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the voice of Reverend Matthew Lansana of the Assembly of God Church, a man who has not only impacted the church you see the confines of Assemblies of God, but he has gone beyond Assemblies of God. I always see him as somebody who is available to the body of Christ. He has been a blessing to us. He's been a blessing to many lives. I remember today I went to I went to the Ministry of Lines. I met there's a gentleman I met there, and he's a director. And he was telling me, I said, oh, I have somebody to that's my guest. He said, oh, you know what happened to me? He said, my, 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 both my feet, they were swollen up as if I have elephantiasis. He said, I was dying slowly. If I put my foot inside water, the water will, 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 will warm, will get hot, you know, with time. He said, but Pastor Murphy was the one that encouraged me and ministered to me. Mm. What can you say about this man? Yes, uh, I, it's a long time I've not seen him. Okay. Yes, um, in fact, at one time, um, uh, he went to the office and they wanted to, to, to they used juju. I was afraid to go there, so we had to take him there. And, uh, had to go with him to the office, and we had to pray. In fact, they made several attempts yes. against him. Um, they used fange, but it did not work. I did not be in the Lord. They, they will have. They will have been a dead person. By Definitely. Now. Yes. By so, but well, we thank God that. Uh, he, but he never gave up. In fact, at one time, um, because he was not having because of the, uh, the the attitude of the boss, so he had. So they were they asked him to take leave of the office I know. for some time. Yes. But he never gave up and he yeah, he's come back. He was so life, don't give up in life. Don't give up in life. Mm. Don't give up in life. Because if a door is short, God can still open other avenues for you. What a word. But Matthew, you 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 are a product of uh FBTC and you also study you do your degree at uh, is it uh, how do you call it how do you call it university in, in Togo? West Africa Advanced School of Theology. Okay, West Africa Advanced School of Theology. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, bit about. Yes, um, in fact, I began to preach even when I'm not going to Bible school. And you remember, we used to go to Connaught. Yeah, yeah, Connaught Hospital every yes. Sunday. Every Sunday. Yes. To 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 from minister. What, yes. From word to word. Yeah, definitely. We go there with our guitar and guitar our tambourine. And singing, yeah, yes, singing, with yeah. Pastor Benji and all others. Yeah. We came from different churches. Yes. You know, and. Uh, uh, so I started preaching, you know, we do open air and all the rest of it. And, uh, um, and then, uh, uh, well, of course, later on, I wanted to go to Bible school. So I went to Freetown Bible Tennis Center, you know, myself with some other senior ministers now, you know, and uh, Bishop Tyre and others, you know. And then after that, um, um, when I came over, because when better, uh, for better people, I had to come over to Assemblies of God. And so I had to go to Togo. First of all, we have this exchange. The, the, we're serving an advanced school of theology. It's a Bible school uh, in Togo for pastors in, 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 in West Africa and central parts of Africa. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's run by the missionaries. Okay. So um, we have the extension school, you know, in different countries. We had one in, in, in Sierra Leone. So the lecturers used to come from Togo to come and lecture us. And then at, for the three months before your graduation, you have to go with others. 
with other pastors, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, then you complete uh, your Bachelor of Theology program. Wow, wow, that's very rigid. Um, so, okay, you study the Bible, and somebody made a comment that you are very uncompromising, you preach on the literal word of God, which I can attest to. So why do you think today we have so many false doctrines? some extra biblical doctrine. Why do you think all of these things are right today? Is it people um they are no they don't want to study the word. Oh thank God for Bible school. Honestly speaking Bible school will lay the foundation. But that's not the end. You have to do your personal study because the word of God is progressive revelation. Wow. Bible school will not give you everything. Mm. We just lay the foundation. But you have to study. You have to study and God can open your eyes to things that you don't even see when you are in Bible school. And so it, because of laziness and also people want quick money. Currently people, they want to give prophecy and you have to give some money. And somebody was telling me about somebody who came here and that person, um, uh, um, uh, if you want to do deliverance, he, he said you could give money to buy a cow, you go to his country and offer the sacrifice there under this New Testament. Mm -hmm. So um, because people are, are, are lazy um, uh, and also people don't have the call. They were, you know, when I was in England, somebody, um, uh, there was a Nigerian man. He said something that I've never forgotten. He said there are three kinds of ministers. He said you have the genuine ones. You know, they are called by God and they have this passion. Mm -hmm. They want to help people. And then he said you have the second category of ministers. These are people, they started well. But because things were not going uh, well, they began to go and consult the occult power. Mm -hmm. Yeah going to go and consult the occult power mm -hmm. and then he said you have the, the, the third category he said these are the crooks they are there for money they are not called and they know the religious languages and all the rest of it so um first of all they are not called if you're a false prophet you're not called because you're really called i mean you will work with god and uh, and and also it's good some people don't want to uh, they want they want to they don't they want to operate alone they don't want to be mentored you yes. know that's the problem you know and so they want to stand on their own and somebody some people some of them they want fame and you know bishop you are we are talking about uh for example i've known you all these years yes sir. honestly speaking um uh, i don't like to flatter people um uh, you know some people they, they've only known you when you are when god has raised you up that's true. but for you to understand the glory of a person you should understand the story mm -hmm. and the challenges and the difficult places you went through you know and god has raised you up now some people don't want to go through those uh processes but god will always prepare his man mm -hmm. so because of laziness because of uh um uh ulterior uh, motives wanting wanting to have fame wanting to make money and they begin to do all sorts of things i remember i was i was uh w watching something on facebook and this man uh, uh he, he, according to him he tried to get a job he didn't get a job so he decided to be a babaola because that was your money was. and uh, when the woman asked he said because i mean i didn't get a job so i had to um i had to come and um find a way of getting money you know so um and of course jesus the bible had predicted that we're going to have false teachers and false prophets that's right so i mean you should not be surprised um and the bible said by their fruit by their fruit you shall know them you shall know them and so that is why we need to get our people to dig into the word of god study the word of god and uh, i know it's true that people move from place to place i don't it's not there's not anything incomplete with that but you don't just go and swallow everything yes you, you go running after science and wonders when science and wonders should be running after you yeah i remember i met a guy in america he's he's from one africa country but i mean he, he was putting on the clerical so I saw him and I said, I know we just crossed path in the hotel. I said, hey, Bishop. He said, how are you? I got to know him. There was a lady who was with him. And the lady, I think when I introduced myself, she knew someone that I already known. So she got, she wanted to get my number. And I said, what are you doing? He said, this man is an archbishop. So what did you go for? He said, the man had problem with my marriage in America. He said, so well, he's going back to his country. I should bring seven different envelopes for different intercessors. Wonderful. And he, he, she has to package different amount of money. Mm. I said, do you pay for a miracle? So that's a false prophet. Mm. A false prophet, 
they, they want to gratify themselves by they, they make the people. Mm. They, they, you look at their lives, they're living in immorality. Mm. You, you, you name it. Mm. They, they, I had a dream of late. I told you yesterday, there was someone that I dreamed. And he went to show me his house. His house was in the sea. Wow. There's a man, a man of God who's moving with power and anointing. And you, you imagine that. So that gives me um, an eye opener to begin to look at this from a different angle. You know, mm. we have to be very careful this last thing. And that is why one of the gifts of the Spirit yes. that is very relevant in this end time is the gift it's of discerning of spirits. spirits. That's right. Gift. And the Bible says, try the Spirit. That's right. Then not all spirits are from God. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you are correct. Yes, thank you very much, Pastor Matthew. Pastor Matthew, can you tell us, can you, well, we had an encounter as far back when I was at West African Pentecostal Church, being pastor by my elder brother. Mm. You know, mm. that was as far back as in the 80s, yeah. before I came and got flaming in 1986. Mm. So, um, what's your honest evaluation? I mean, if you have to give me a summary in three minutes about my personality, what would you say? Well, um, uh, like you said, um, it was Pastor Benji that I first knew, and I used to attend the Bible study. So the Bible study I used to attend, and that was where I met you, a uh, primary school teacher, and. Uh, one thing I discovered at that early stage is that you had passion for God. You know, that could be seen by the way you are praying and the way you are expressing yourself, you know, about the things of God. You see that you had passion, you know, for God. And uh, I want to thank God for that. You are a man of passion. And that was what I kept you. And uh, you have maintained longevity and consistency, mm. you know, and you've been focused. And I want to really thank God for your life. Of course, we all have our weaknesses. Definitely. All of our Everybody weaknesses. And all of our weaknesses. Um, but, uh, and uh, one thing I know about you, um, uh, I've never had, I'm not saying because I'm in this station, you know, I will not, you know, yeah, if definitely. it's the truth, I will call you and talk to you. Mm -hmm. I've never had you having a girlfriend. Mm. I've never had that. In fact, if they tell me that you have a girlfriend, I will not believe until you prove me wrong. But, mm -hmm. but I, 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 I want to thank God for your life. Your life has been a testimony. Of course, you know means we have a lot of challenges. Definitely. You know, sometimes the devil will send agents. Agents. But um, uh, I remember at one time you, you, we were doing a discussion, talk about an encounter that you had with somebody, you know, and but God, God who came to your office and openly said I mean, he loved you and that, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> right here in the office. You know, the devil is so daring. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God for, um, you have been a peace setter. When you talk about deliverance, mm -hmm. you, you have been a peace setter. You started with your ministry, you know, and uh, you touched the lives of many, many, many people. And uh, I want to thank God for your life. And you've been a blessing to many, um, uh, and not only within this nation, but also outside of this nation. I pray wow. that God will continue to increase your greatness. Wow. And that, uh, and one thing also I like about this, your humility, your humble. Mm -hmm humble um you are humble you know um which is very very important to me because um jesus was a very humble man and uh, there is no there is no place for pride definitely there's no place for pride in ministry mm -hmm. um the, jesus said what do you have that you did not receive Carabo, so if you god is using you might in fact the more god is using you that's the time you should be humble you know when, when you are far away from somebody you can have different picture about that person when we go near that person then you know definitely i know you're a very strict person because if you have a big ministry you have you have standard you know people will think you're bad you're too too strict you know no 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 you have there has to be a standard so i mean i want to thank god for your life and uh for your commitment to the work of god uh, and also you know you come from a holiness background only this Pentecostal church in those days, yes. you don't put on shorts at no, 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 and your shirts, yeah, and you don't put on short sleeve, you know, yes, and all yes. the rest of it. Yes, <laughs> we said that holiness in this country, <laughs> this kind of regimental kind of holiness, definitely, standard. definitely. definitely. No, no, no. <laughs> but thank God that Jesus has made has become our righteousness. Definitely. We are walking in the fear of God, definitely, in righteousness, definitely. but you are not adding to the gospel. No, 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 no. Thank God for the revelation. Thank God. And thank God for your compliments, yeah. Pastor Matthew. Mm. Yes, um, I think I, 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 I love God. I honor God. Mm. I fear God. Mm. So that, that, that's why I want to make heaven. Yeah. So that's why we make him a priority. Yeah. And 
I thank God for you've been you've been a friend that has been there for me and there with me for long for long years, maybe 37, 38 years. You've been there, you've been there. And thank God one thing that you said to me that encouraged me was many years ago you said to me, Bishop, I God is my witness, I pray for you every day. I am I was greatly encouraged. So when I'm going through crisis, you remember when I was going through some crisis period. Mm -hmm. I had to call you on the phone. Mm -hmm. At times I would call your wife at 11, 12 in the night and I'll wake you up. And the wife, I said, I, I say, at least, at least, I'm sorry. He said, no, 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 it's okay. Now you brother, now you brother. So you've been standing there with me, standing there for me, and some of other, many other people. I want to thank God for your life. Thank we God. look at the strength and God helps us in our weaknesses. Yeah, so we don't amplify others' weaknesses. Definitely. We help to see how we can be able to help them Definitely. going through the challenges. Definitely. Thank you very much, Pastor Matthew. And uh, do we have a, do you have a, okay? Come up before we go to our next our last session for tonight today. We have um, Patrick Queer again saying a great testimony and a great legacy. God bless you richly, Reverend Matthew Lansana. We have a bishop, Amadi Sifas, he says, watching from Nigeria. Who? Oh. Bishop from Nigeria. Okay. We thank God for this program. It's really refreshing. Mm. Asumana Saidu saying, Apostle Asumana Saidu saying, I am really blessed. Thank Daddy for hosting Reverend Sana. A man of God with experience, I'm watching live in Kenema. Thank you, sirs. Mm. We have um, um, Yvet Georgiana Campbell saying, More grace and anointing, Daddy. May God use you more than ever before. God bless you, Daddy. Messages are still coming in. And Rela Roy Macaulay saying, What a time of refreshing. Many thanks, Bishop and our dear Reverend Mafi Lansana. We have Justina Unice Oliver saying, I'm watching from USA. Leslie Shilon saying, thank God for your life, Pastor Matthew. Seeing and listening to you and Bishop is a celebration of godliness and contentment. You remember him? Yes, yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. He brought from the UK. Yes, yes. yes, yes, yes go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Justina Unice Oliver saying, um, prayer and fasting bring everything God knows we need. Mm -hmm. That's all we have for now. Oh, praise God. Thank you so much. Please keep, keep on. Sending your text messages and to, I mean um, via Facebook or, or, or to 078-861-497. Your WhatsApp messages to 078-861-497. Or you can call us live on 075-000937. That's 075-000937. Seven, okay, and uh, we'll entertain your your calls, your question, whatever you want, you want to pass on to us today. I'm having my special guest, my special friend, who's been a bosom friend, a brother for the past for close to four decades now. Bless God for his life, um, Pastor Matthew. I remember when we were at income tax. By then, we are. I was at Waterloo Street. You remember that wooden house? Wooden house. Very good. A small, small. Back yeah. out. A small table. Small table. And two benches. Yes, very good. Two benches are yes, yes. You don't come for midday service. Midday service. Midday service. Uh, can you tell us what? Yes. What, uh, I don't I don't quite remember. I was at working at income tax, you yes, know, and uh, be, uh remember one lady was easy. working at uh America Life Insurance Company. Um, yeah, yeah. One, about three, four, four of them. Yeah. The only pass that we broke yes, work. Yes. And another, yes. yes. Right. So we used to come to uh, the office there for lunchtime fellowship. You know, um, it was a very enriching moment. And I remember one incident, um, there was a deliver session that was being held, okay. you know, and a brother was manifesting. And uh, I remember, you know, in those days, you know, we were sweating, we took off our shirt, you know, because the man was so strong, wow. he was now on the floor. And I remember, and when I was saying, I rebuke in the name of Jesus, and he opened his eyes and said, you, I'll get you cold in the, in, in the faith. And I said, no, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I remember, I remember um, people used to come and people, uh, we are blessed. Uh, and uh, um, one thing I remember about you, Bishop, was that, like I said, the way you pray, the way you express yourself, you know, this person has uh, a passion for God. And I remember it happened several times. 
you pray and then you go into the prophetic. As far back as then. As in it is. Yes, yes, you would go into the prophet, the prophetic. And uh, that time there was no car, we used to walk, you know, and go to college and used to have, there was a cup, you know, on the table where we put some coin. Yeah, and all the rest of it, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, so people need to know about that too. And you know, now they have to know. I tell them to go. Tell them to see that beginning here. They need to know about that. And God does. But you are very faithful, you know. And I remember there was one incident. I don't, I don't know whether you were there when somebody wanted to, to attack me with, with an axe. Yeah, I was there now. Took the axe, yeah. I had to do tactical. We do all. We do all. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was Pastor Benji who got hold of him. Well, he was not satisfied with um, certain decision that was taken. Yes. You know, because of a crusade that was held and where they were training um, some people. And so um, he was not supposed to be there. I said he should not be there. So he got annoyed. So he took an axe. I know. I got there. I jumped in the window. Canality. <laughs> yes, yeah, you are. Oh, like, like, like you. you don't go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the Lord. Ah, that's interesting. That was far back as in the 80s. Yeah. You yeah. know, by then we are in our infant stage. I don't know if you still have the picture. I you can have people see this beautiful place. I, you need to have that small. I, think I have, I have, I have few pictures. When yeah. I was at the office. Yes. You know, yeah. I, I, I had a, a certain. Yeah. The students at Tobey College. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know how I, how I was, I was able to, to finance the, the one of the office. Mm. I don't know. I can't. I just cannot imagine mm. God in His infinite wisdom mm. and divine provision mm. has sustained us mm. from the 80s, mm -hmm. then to the 90s. And that means the independent means it was not popular. No, no, no. It was not. It was not. It was not popular. Mm. Uh, our service established churches. Mm -hmm. You cannot come and stand. So we we, we, we took we took the faith. We stood out mm -hmm. in those early days. Mm -hmm. I remember. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank God. Okay, this, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the one that is being interviewed. <laughs> so let me just be, be very careful so that yeah. at least I will just keep to the I'll keep to the confine yeah. of today's uh, interview. Okay, um, Pastor Matthew, thank you very much for those fond memories. You know, you drop a memory back in in the 80s. There are some leading men of God today in the nation, women who used to come to the office for prayer, for counseling. I remember them very well. Mm. They should come to the office mm. for perhaps some counseling. And there are some phenomenal deliverance in those days. Mm. Remember a lady that, that I can't go into details. The lady, when we were speaking, she was speaking with an audible, that was in the 80s, mm. like 88, 89, mm. speaking with a male voice. Mm. I, don't, yeah, I remember, I remember. remember that yes, I remember, I remember. All yeah. right, so these are, these are just the... The, the embryonic stage when the ministry was trying to develop. Okay, Pastor Matthew, let's let's try to um, fast start now. Let's come now to the crusade. I think if we test one or two of our crusades, yeah. there was one where at Atuga Stadium, I think in Idea. Um, yes, and then at Congo Town. Congo Town. Yes, 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 and um, miracles like um, people walking. Okay. The eyes of the blind being open. Okay. You know, and of course, I have not been. To the crusades you were holding the provinces, but I heard about incredible things that were happening, mm -hmm. you know, about witches confessing, okay, you know, and uh, the, of course, deliverance uh, that's a common thing. I've, I also came to uh, the program um, Monday morning. So, you showed the Monday morning, yes. I came, I, I came twice, okay, at one time I, I came alone, and then the other time I came with my wife, and uh, I saw a lady who was possessed. I mean, violently, when which she was manifesting, how God delivered her. So those are areas I believe God has uh, graced you, you know, to, to touch the lives of people. You know, it's grace, Bishop. And if God has graced somebody, you know, it, 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 just, it just flows. And, uh, but even though grace is there, but you're a man of prayer. You know, you give yourself sometimes, you call yourself in a prayer, they can go pray, so I wonder, what is this man they pray for now? You have to get this big ministry. What are you praying for now? You know, but you have to maintain. Yes, you have right. to maintain that because sometimes when you when ministry is growing, it's easy for you to begin to to just uh, um, slow down and then uh, relapse, have some relapse. You know, have lapses in certain areas. But that's the time you pray more. Yes. It's amazing. At one time, um, there was a program here, and you said you prayed um, for about ten to five o'clock in the morning. So what? You know, I mean, God has, the grace of God is there, but um, and that is something that we need to, under, to, need to understand. And it is, it is in line with what Jesus was doing. Jesus was a man of prayer. Yes. He would go to the mountain and pray for the whole night. Mm. And after the miracles, he would go back to prayer. 
you know so um i think that is what has kept you and i believe the devil has tried to destroy your life know. you know on several several occasions i wonder if you have not been strong in the lord what will have happened hmm. you know um because um when god uses a man you know to bring healings and deliverance and and witches are confessing you become a target for the enemy of course. you know but thank god for his covering hmm. thank god for his protection so I want to thank God for your life, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm extremely delighted that I'm having you on Sunday in my church. Okay, we'll come, we'll come to that, Pastor Matthew. That's, in, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, Pastor Matthew. Um, well, by the grace of God, I've somebody calling from Nigeria. I, I was in Nigeria um, recently, or not recently, maybe two years ago, together with my wife, the Reverend Dr. Max Williams, and I put in the church. And this guy, in this guy's church, I could, I could well remember. There, there was a lady, they took her to the witch doctor, took her to the medical hospital, there was no solution. She couldn't even stand, even with, um, how do you call it now, these um, coaches. coaches yeah. She couldn't even stand. On that night, they were having this, um, they call it tiny night. I was praying for the sick. Boom! She dropped the, she, 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 she got up and she walked. She was jumping. And the, the one that was exciting was, like, um, there was a young, I, people were coming, giving testimonies. Cool, um, blah blah, and then I said, God prompted me. I said, I saw somebody here who was deaf and dumb. I said, God, I said, who is it? And this young, this young man about 21 years of age, the people are pointing to, towards her, towards him. This is the guy. So I was warning, and people are shouting in the church all night of prayer, 12 1 in the morning. So I said, Then the, the pastor looked at me, he's called a follow me. He said, Throw it to the ball. He said, What's your name? The boy said, I am Joshua of Alabi. The pastor's nephew, oh, who has never spoken no heart since he was, notable. was born. And the old church knew about him. Mm. You know, you communicate with him through signs. So that boy answered his name. His mom almost fell down to commit. Like the, the stage was very high. She almost dropped down the stage. That was all, all that up. Mm. She was screaming, hearing her son speaking and, and hearing for the first time. So the person was like, you see, you people know, you thought, you thought people are picking me, you see, you know this boy. He was like, B -b 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 -b. and that night, the, the, the boy's mother became my, my wife's protocol. Mm. She said, oh no, let me, let me, let me protocol you. Mm. And there was a, an, another pastor in the church, that church, one bishop. He said, no, I've seen you in Mexico today. So I want to come over to sell you, mm. to witness the Mexico. So by the social media, some pastor, that's why there are times, I'll go, I'll go, when I was much younger, two weeks without food. I know. Just sick in the face of the father. I know. I know. Week without food. Going, go, I've gone to Nunge for retreat. Go to places. I've gone to your house. You, you said something one day, Bishop. Okay. Um, Remind um, me. You said you went to, um, in those days, you would go on retreat, not because you are going to minister. Okay, okay, okay. You just go to uh, on retreat to just spend time with the Lord. Yes, yeah, express my love for him. Yes, yeah, but yeah. many times, you know, people only go on retreat because they have a special program. Yes, that's There's right. nothing wrong about it, but yeah. you said you only went uh, on retreat because Out you wanted to have yeah. fellowship with God. To interact with God. Yeah. I remember, yes, I was... And you have maintained, yeah. the thing is that you have maintained, you know... Consistency. Uh, you have been very consistent. And this, that is what has helped, because some people, they start well, and one of my concerns, Bishop, people, they start well in the beginning, but they don't end well. But even though you've been all these years and with your age, God, God is still using you, and I'm praying that God will keep you long, and so that God will continue to make you an impact. I remember I was like, in Becca, when God said, said something to me, I turned to a pastor. So God said to me, you must love prayer the way fishes like to stay in water. Wow. Oh, that, that's revolutionized my life. He said, imagine you take a fish out of water, it will die. Yeah. So God said, you must love prayer the way fishes like to stay in water. That's so that's why, this morning, ah, I stepped around 11, 11, 30, I thought that I was up. That's a revelation. Yes. A revelation. I, I just sit in this place and say, you should love prayer, interact with me, talking with me. So whenever I, I, I just remember the fish in the water, then I know I should be in this And place. it's something you, you have to develop because if you're not used to it, you can't just try it. No, yeah, so exactly. You must have developed it over the years. Over the years, yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Pastor Matthew. Yeah. Okay, um, well, you, 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 you've already let, let, let the cat out of the bag. You said, I'm coming to your church this Sunday. Um, should be 
what, what, what was the date? The twentieth. The twentieth of March. Mm -hmm. So in case we are meeting this program, mm -hmm. people should understand the twentieth program. Mm -hmm. The twentieth of March, mm -hmm. I will be at Joy Assemblies of God Church. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the the place, the time, the theme, so that people who are sick will come? Um, uh, of course, it's number six, short seats. Six short seats, short seats, short seats. Um, not too far from uh, uh, King Memorial Church. Not too far from King Memorial. Come Memorial up Church. from PZ, you come up uh, uh, Regent Road. You have uh, Lomley seats. Okay. And after uh, Lomley seats, no, you have back seats. Okay. After back seats, next seat is short seats. Okay. Yes. Um. Uh, you know, see, uh, we when Pagobe was alive before you guy came over to to join us in your God, um, he, he thought of having what we call Holy Ghost Sunday. Okay. You know, so well we've been observing it, you know, low key and all the rest of it. But then recently, it just dawned on me that we should try to pay more emphasis on that. Wow. And so your name came up. So I had to pray about it. I didn't even announce it. I said, God, if you want Bishop to come. <laughs> when I talk to him, please let him respond. That was, that was the prayer I prayed. So I had to wait. It was only last week, Monday, that I spoke to you. And uh, I was, well, humanly speaking, because I know you, <laughs> you are very busy and all the rest of it. So it's amazing the way you just responded. So I now I know that it was God who laid it upon my heart. It is. And I believe the reason why God laid it upon my heart, I'm trusting God that that will happen. So the theme is, uh, uh, your waiting is over. Mm. Your waiting is over. If you have been waiting um, for your miracle, waiting for your deliverance, waiting for your breakthrough, um, this is a prophetic word. Your waiting is over. And so um, I believe that um, if you will come, if you have long-standing problems, challenges that have defied solutions, um, 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 illnesses, sicknesses that have defied medical attention, your waiting is over. I mean, this is your time. This, is, this is your chaos moment, hmm. a defining moment. Wow. I believe God is going to do good. I'm, I'm expecting great things, Bishop. I'm expecting great things, and we have been praying, and we have been trusting God that God will just reveal Himself. I believe it's the Holy Ghost that is going to walk to you in a very mighty way. This is not a coincidence. I was supposed to be somewhere else this Sunday, but, but one way or the other, the program because of my my the, my, the time we, we we start service at eight, so it didn't work out. Mm. So it was after that that you came up with this because. Otherwise, I could not have, there's no way I would have gone to accent it. Because I suppose to travel to Liberia, to Gambia, oh, can you imagine that? So it's, it's, a, it's a divine timing. And it's a long time, Bishop, since your last minister. Oh, I joined. At your assembly. I still remember, I don't remember the title of the message, but you spoke uh, about uh, Lazarus. And I remember you're talking about your problem uh, reaching a stinky stage. And uh, you preached that day and the power God moved mightily. What was it? Was that? I can't remember now. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't remember. But, but, but I still remember the stinking stage. That means you you reach a stage where there is no more hope. Everybody is talking about your problem. Because Lazarus was there for four days, Can't and and and, and, um, and as his sister said, I what, but by now he's stinking. And even you, even if your problem has reached a stinking stage, God is the impossibility specialist. Wow, yeah. that is wonderful. Yeah. But we went to. Um, uh, what is the name of the church now? Reverend Kelly's church. Wow. Word of life. We were there in February edition. I call it supernatural invasion. Mm -hmm. So it just it just it just coincide with this your program. Mm -hmm. We are at Word of Life mm -hmm. last month. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness me. The testimonies are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. There was a man, a retired brigadier who had been blind for decades. Wow. His eyes was his eyes were miraculously open. David, you are there, right? You are coming the program. You saw about three or four or so people walked. So those are com those are things that uh, happen in your ministry. Yeah, yes. You know, you know, I remember Kevin Kelly bought a, a girl to me. He said, "This is my neighbor. This girl. She's about maybe twenty. She never spoke. She never had before. Right there on the stage, God opened his ears. God opened her. Uh, uh, she spoke. Mm. So it's 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 quite okay. And people came from can you imagine to Bukfis? People came from 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 the college, from Waterloo, from Juba. They came. Some people came for the first time. The church was packed full. So what I would advise you, listeners, please, the service starts at what time? At 10.30. At 10.30. 9, 9.30. 9.30. Let me advise you to be there at 9 o'clock. Because at Reverend Kenley's church, even the gallery could not accommodate the people. We have people standing outside. So please be there at 9.30 and bring those who are sick. Some of you are sick, is at the hospital. Bring them. 
I remember the last solution we had. I, 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 there was a guy that was ministering, then goes up to me. So, what are we going to quite on me? I don't get a new, it's a new intestine, a new ghost. New intestine. New intestine. So, we're there. I said, intestine, perforated. Yeah. So, we're going to give you one. I don't send it. A guy came out with the, with the bag, catheter. Ah. Mm. She came, he called the catheter. Mm. So, look, I said, my intestine is perforated. Mm. I said, look at it now. They said, I should carry this thing for ages, for years. Mm. I said, okay, now I've, I've got the word from the Lord. Go take mm. out the catheter. Go back to the hospital. He went back to the hospital and came back and did the test. There was nothing they saw again in him. Wonderful. He was it's completely. Now it's now it's, it's it's called Philip, right? Yes. I think it's younger right. now. You pardon me. The man is younger now. It's more. It's, it's look much younger now. That younger. man was a son. Wow. A medical doctor was in ICU unit. She, wow. They, they gave her up. Wow. They brought her here to the church. I never knew she was here. Wow. She could not walk. She got up. A medical doctor, That's the lady, she walked, she got up and she walked. So we have been seeing many miracles. So if you have cancer, you are blind, but I encourage them, who should come? If you have problem challenges that you have not been able to overcome, or you have sicknesses you try, maybe you even travel abroad. I remember um, uh, uh, one uh, solution Monday morning. Monday morning, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember there was somebody who gave a testimony. That person said um, she went, is he or she, went to Nigeria, uh -huh. a very popular man. TV Joshua, yes, yes, I remember that testimony. <laughs> yes. But nothing happened. Yes. But then in that meeting, God, God, God is God. Yes. yes. So, yes. So, so, so even if you have tried in uh, several places and you have not gotten your solution, your waiting is over. Can you have been waiting. That? For, for, for God to manifest himself in your situation. Mm. I want you to know that your waiting is over. And Bishop, remember, um, 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 you know, two things uh, uh, that reminds me that this is God ordained was uh, when I prayed that God, if it's your will for Bishop, it's just two weeks from now that you answer, though. Two weeks from the program, that is, which is very unusual. Very unusual, I'm telling you. I'm you know, and, you gave, and then I was, I was looking at the program, you sent the sample, you know, of uh, the program you had at, and, uh, yes, um, and I look at, I saw the theme, um, uh, and then I said, let me ask Bishop whether, oh, oh, and then I called you and he said, I was just thinking about you that we should change. <laughs> we should. Okay, um, I think there's a phone call coming in. Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, I think we have missed this caller. Oh, we've got some server calls coming in now to the list. Okay. All right. Um, please try again. Um, caller, try again, please. We. Yeah, and you said yes. And interestingly speaking, I was I had no preaching appointment. That that was the thing that was fascinating about the whole thing. The the one that was designed for this month was cancelled, and yours came. Hello. Yeah. You, you paralyzed? Okay. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Wow, 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 wow. I get for Kalungi. I get for Kalungi. Yes, we get we get to work like Lungi. So if I can I go now you go urge me now send for like a Lungi Ali. Because we show one thing with the Bible, the Bible talk see um a member what be teaching for one place. He say just say the word. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay, well what I what I will do for you? Yes, sir. Definitely that is God at work. The word of God can create the atmosphere of me people that don't pray for our phone england america australia so you say don't seek for one year i, I remember the Bible kind of church to be the last solution on the monday from 1987 it don't paralyze in you know, a worker 
Then we can church and the demo that's gonna left him. I know me know what do. I know say never work out. Then left him, it's not the begin work out. So I speak now to your feet. Mm. I speak right now to your legs. In the name I command Jesus. in the name of Jesus every sickness, every disease, every spirit of paralysis mm. for leave you right now. Jesus. I name. bind and cast out that infirmity now. The name of I pray Jesus. for a miracle that you will call back the station the for give testimony. Thank you, Lord. Whatever is behind your sickness, I cause it. Jesus. Name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I release you yes. by the power. Of that is what they need. In the name of Jesus. You are healed. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So stand, begin, begin to map now and call back. Yeah. All right. Begin to put it into action. Begin for to map now and see what they go don't do. Remember one case where again my now my NKC. Did they know it will Oh, bind and begin to pray. It's in a snake, it's in common and food. You know what I can almost hear it. It grabs him up worker. Begin to begin to exercise your faith now. Yeah, very good. Just try God come and do those. Begin to put your faith into action now. God and call back. Yeah, because God has done a miracle for you. Come and do right now. Jesus, wonderful. Wow, it's still not doing commotion right yeah. now. Yeah. And the man, the man has such great faith. Yeah, they just, yeah. just speak yeah. the word. I tell you, I tell you. Oh, my goodness, me. Oh, Terrible, so thank you. We were in testimony. Yeah, yeah. So, Pastor Matthew, you, 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 you are saying uh, they should come, the blind, the deaf, the lame, the crippled, the yeah. cancer, yeah. set back, no matter, disappointment, no matter your situation. Oh, which kind of attack? Yeah. So, we are trusting God that uh, we've given out the invitations, and Bishop, I'm expecting that the place is going to be packed full. I know that, definitely. Yes, I always want to walk up at 4 30. Yes. I so, pray about that. So, we are trusting God, we are believing God, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm standing on. Exodus 34 10. Now, I, want to, I want to ask you that question because you showed me that scripture this morning yeah. and it was yeah. like a revelation to me. Yeah. So please tell listeners. Yes, um, the scripture, I mean, it's good for me to read it. Yes. You know, Exodus chapter Exodus chapter 34. Okay, Exodus 34, verse 10. That's right. Yeah, it says. Uh, and he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people. Mm -hmm. I said, Behold, I, I make a covenant before all thy, thy people. I will do marvels mm. such as have not been done in all the earth, My goodness, nor in any nation. Mm. And all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I will do. Jesus, it's a wonderful thing that I will do. Oh, because I've read to the Bible about 30 times or more, but this scripture came from the it's it's it, it, like, it's a revelation. Mm -hmm. And when God reveals, it's one to redeem. Mm -hmm. So there are people who are going to be redeemed this mm -hmm. Sunday mm -hmm. at Short Street. Yeah. Number what? Number six Short Street. So this is Short Street. Yeah. Not too far from King Memorial. Not too far so from please, people. please come, ask for Short Street Sunday, did it by nine o'clock, yeah. because the cargo boku, the cargo plenty, and they tell you, what I see, to Reverend Kenley this last month. Eh, what I seen a grafting, what I seen a kissy when it's where you go there. Just one one ten or more for the month. It's marvelous. It's glorious. It's wonderful. wonderful. So I believe say you will get a testimony. Mm -hmm. So what people for expect the miracle. Definitely. I mean people should go. That's what we have been praying that those who are invited, those who are going there, we go in, in, in with an expected heart. Wow. That God will do something in their lives. And we are trusting God that those who go there will not go back empty. Jesus is Because God. God is the God that honors his word. Hmm. And we believe, so I am believing that things, have two things. One, um, incredible miracles. Mm -hmm. um, new things. In fact, I've been praying that God will walk through you in ways he's not done before. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And that also for notable miracles, like you are saying about somebody they knew. Because sometimes they think um, you are faking it up, of course, oh, you know, yes. we, 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 we are not in that. No, category, uh, no, no, no. I mean, we don't need to help God. No, no, God is not able. So I want to thank the Lord uh -huh. for what God is going to do on Sunday. So I want people to be praying. And if you can fast before you go there, fast, and then go with an expectant heart and believe that something is going to happen wow. in your life. Because um, God is going to be at work by the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe when God spoke to Pagobe about Holy Ghost Sunday, I believe the Holy Ghost is going to manifest greatly this coming Sunday. 
How how I wish Pagube will have been around. Oh, I wish Pagube will have been around. Pagube, <laughs> when he's happy with me, he will call me on the phone and say, Bishop, when he's not unha when he's unhappy, somebody when, he say Abu. When he say Abu, I don't say this why I, I don't I don't need trouble. Thank God that I have somebody I, I submitted to. Yeah. It's good that um, um young pastors learn to have a mentor. Yeah. Learn to have mentor father that can speak to you, speak into your life that can correct you and rebuke you. Mm. Abba Gobe, I've known him. I love him. I love that man. And you should never uncover your father's nakedness mm -hmm. like harm. Mm. Yeah. You are there to you, you, you have to put this message. You know Moses, not Moses, Miriam. Mm. Now say Moses married an Egyptian woman. Mm -hmm. That was it, it was not. He was not supposed to marry an Egyptian woman. But he married an Egyptian woman. And his elder sister, Miriam, number 24, was, I think was 12, was talking against that. And Leposi came on her. And she had Leposi. What is, what, was, what is your business with his marriage? Is that your business? Mm. Leave that with God. Mm. So mm. Um, please, um, there are some issues about your spiritual fathers. Take them to God in prayer. Take I, them I to God. I've been for 20 years. I mean, for me to begin to talk, that's, that's suicide. That's, that's suicide, yeah. You have to find a shortcut, shortcut to, your, yeah. to your grave. And we all have our shortcomings. Definitely. And uh, and uh, uh, we thank God for grace. Grace. Uh, we thank God for grace. And I want to talk to those who are assistant pastors. Good, give us a last word. And those who are who are serving under, you know, uh, uh, a senior person. That's you right. should make sure you, you have a humble heart. And even when God begins to work in your life, you need to submit. Thank you should you. be very careful. Thank if you, you want, if you don't want to go to your grave early, you better submit yourself and wait, and also always seek the blessing. A release. A release. If you, even if God has, and even if God has spoken to you about something, make sure you discuss. I remember it was Susan Haiti, the intercessor, and Boke when Boke came here, Boke was talking about her. Yes. And uh, uh, she uh, uh, she had this pressure upon her heart that she should start. And it's assessing ministry. And she came to Boke and Boke would say to her, wait. She went, she went to Boke about four or five times in a year. And, and Boke would say, wait. And when the time came, Boke released her. But today, people, they don't, they don't wait. They just choose from themselves. So we general overseer, founder. You see, the problem, you see, I have an example, a parallel to that, Pastor Matthew. You know the point of that son? Mm. When he left home, mm. he left home unceremoniously. Mm. The father didn't bless him. Mm -hmm. So he went with abundance. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, he came back with nothing. You know, Jacob, when he left, his father blessed him. Mm -hmm. He left with nothing. Mm -hmm. He came back with abundance. Mm -hmm. Do you see the revelation? Yeah. Yeah. So if you are leaving your spiritual father, mm -hmm. make sure he blesses you. Don't begin to expose to say terrible things. That, 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 that's an awful thing. That's that is an awful thing. I was with my brother, Benji, my, my elder brother. Oh, he's my mentor. I was with him for many years. He groomed me up. He trained me up. I have nothing bad to say about that man. Only that he is very strict and he taught me about holiness, what holiness is supposed to be. He instilled that discipline in me. Holiness Pentecostal. Mission. Pentecostal Church, yes. <laughs> so thank you very much, Pastor Matthew. It's a pleasure. Let's let's, let's see how the final uh, comments. We have, um, Joseph Lasayo saying, more grace, Papa. Um, Peter Koma, Reverend Peter Koma, saying manifestation of miracle in your program, Reverend Matthew Lansana, more grace, Daddy. He's <laughs> still saying what a revelation. Peter Koma, listen, listen. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Been to William saying a blessed time await us. Masi Kama saying I'm really enjoying the live program. Pastor Matthew Lansana and Bishop Abu Koma, you are looking younger because of the grace of God. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I no problem. George Kapindi is saying, um, God's great general, keep on the great work for God. Mm -hmm. Walk, working for God is the, is the great service. You will never regret doing because you know your home will be in heaven. Mm -hmm. God bless you. My daddy is a friend from Masige. You have been a blessing to us as Joy Assembly of God Church from Sister Masige Kamara. We have... Reverend Matthew Lansana is an amazing man of God. I consider myself privileged and honored to serve as, an, as his assistant pastor. And the congregation at Joy Assembly of God is blessed to have him as a senior pastor. Mm -hmm. 
We know him as a man of the word, a man of prayer, Amen. and the preacher of holiness. Mm -hmm. His impact will indeed last for all eternity. Krabushka. Thank you, Pastor Matthew, for not being disobedient to the heavenly vision. Mm -hmm. Pastor Patrick Clay, where? That's where we end this. Wow, one. thank you very much. Are you, you, you know him very well. Yeah, let me, let me, he's attesting to the fact yeah. that you're a man of God. When your assistant called you a man of God, you know, like Pastor Ola, Ah, uh, he, he has been there with you are me. You I think I spoke to you about that. Yes, Pastor. He was. He was. We this past Sunday. Ah, uh, you. You see, Pastor Allah, so unassuming. Yeah. You know, you are blessed. Oh. I'm blessed. And to have he's you. been there, and you can go for two months. Uh, five years. And fact. nobody can manipulate him. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I love that man. He is. <laughs> thank God. He, he, he's a soul. Ah, uh, thank God. He's a soul. And, in and, and he's so committed. Definitely. To flame me. I, I know they see around you. <laughs> the only time I saw I saw uh saw him was the feeling of service. <laughs> but that man will not go. So ah oh, thank God you I, I how I pray that God will bless men of God with yeah. such men. So people you know, are committed to committed you, loyal, serving you, uh, upholding you, not wow. those who are tearing you apart wow. and trying to destroy your testimony. Wow. Nobody can destroy your, you have built a testimony for decades. Yeah. Nobody can destroy it no, overnight. No, no, no. You, you, have, you, you, it's, it's, no, no. it's suicidal. No, no. You, you, you cannot. So please, young men, young women, wherever you are, please serve your pastor, serve your leader very well. If you are living, make sure you part company honorably. Yeah. Don't carry curses with you. Mm. Don't carry curses. Mm. God is a God that understands and he loves principles. Yeah. All right? Having said that, Pastor Matthew, can you please pray for our beloved Sierra Leone, the land that we love? Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you for our beloved country. We thank you you have a plan and a purpose for this nation. Yes, Lord. And we thank you that God, your purpose and plan will be fulfilled in this land. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray that you raise godly men, men and women whose hearts are after you, mm -hmm. men and women, God, who run this nation according to your divine direction, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray that, God, uh, you raise godly men and women God of God in this nation, Shabazz. men that God will speak the voice of this land in the name of Jesus. Father, credible men and women, men who fear God, men who are filled with the Spirit of God, men, Lord, we declare over this nation that God, every program and every agenda of the enemy against this nation, it will not prosper. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God, eternal Father, we give you glory, we give you praise, we, give, we plead the blood of Jesus upon the nation of Sierra Leone, and we declare Sierra Leone is rising up again Jesus. in the name of Jesus Christ. Ooh. By the power of God, we declare Sierra Leone is rising up again. Mm -hmm. We give you glory, give you praise. We give, Father, we, I thank you also for the life of your servant. Lord, thank you for your grace upon his life. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the way you have, I pray that you will get stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. I pray you get healthier and healthier. Mm -hmm. I pray God you continue to be a wall of fire around his life. Mm -hmm. He will not die before his time. Jesus, he will Jesus, live Lord. unto a very good old age. Oh, he will fulfill purpose and destiny. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes, we Lord. give you glory, give you praise. Father, we pray for this radio station. We pray God that it will continue to be a blessing, not only in Sierra Leone, but also outside of this nation. Mm -hmm. We cover this station with the blood of Jesus. We pray that all those who are walking here will walk faithfully, and your name will be honored, and your name will be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Matthew, Edward Lansana, Elias Bobo. <laughs> For being my special guest today, we are honored. This program, as we've seen, men of God, pastors, bishops, um, honorable member of parliament, principals of various schools, um, bank managing directors, um, head of institutions, SLBC, we, you name them. They've all um, lecturers, uh, bankers. Uh, what else again will I remember? Pardon me? Of course, mental health doctor, that guy at mental health. Don't, don't come. Don't come. Yeah. We've got them all who have come one way or the other to contribute towards the impact that this program is making in the lives of people. So until we meet again next week, Tuesday, don't forget, of course, my program, our program, our service here is at 8 o'clock, definitely, a communion service at 8 o'clock at headquarters church and then i will finish here and then i will run now to 
to short stage, six short stage for the miracle service. Miracle service. I think we bought away call Nalungi. He made my mind on change. I guess on side for go April. But I think I will change April. I suspect say Lungi will be my next destination. Mm. If I begin going down now, up country, do them church to church. Because of the corona, we're not able to get big crusade. Yeah. But I come out with a crusade. That we'll talk about later. Yeah. Now, to Azak. Wow. Next month. Wow. Massive crusade. Wow. So we talk, so minor talk, to Azak, wow. Inglaville, Brookfields, Sakila Road. Wow. With the people that will come over 10,000 people. Wow. Till then, have a blessed, wonderful day. God bless you. I'm Bishop Dr. Frederick Abu Bakak Siriki Suleiman Kogoma. The man in get Matthew Edward, in get Christian name. Born, baptized, confirmed. Maybe he was confused. But thank God. Um, <laughs> thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs>